Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. This is our tape. We are your hosts. We're slightly intoxicated. My name's Ocean. I'm Taylor. I am Optimus Prime. <laughs> you sure? Slightly you intoxicated. sounded like a lady from Monsters, I think. <laughs> I'm always watching. <laughs> always watching. <laughs> you didn't file your asking. paperwork. <laughs> Again, get <laughs> out your paperwork. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are going to give you guys our take on Warner Brothers' newly released film. Came out on December fifteenth. Uh, this movie is <coughs> Wonka. Uh, we're a little bit late on this one. We're kind of playing catch up. You know, uh, if you guys watched our Christmas special uh, episode, which posted a couple of days ago, if you guys go check that out, kind of explain why we have been a little bit absent. We apologize, but we are back on our regular schedule. We're going to play a little bit of catch up here, and then we'll got, kind of get right back into the groove on staying current with you guys. So thank you to those of you guys that have uh, been here and stuck with us through this. We really appreciate you guys. Uh, but let's let's get into it. Uh, Wonka, we're going to start off with spoiler-free content. And then we're going to give scores, slightly intoxicated scores. And then we're going to do uh, spoilers. So, yeah, before we do that, Taylor, uh, give us the cast list. So the main star, of course, as Willy Wonka himself, is played by Timothy Chalamet. Um, we also get... Uh, it's more of like a cameo um, of Hugh Grants as mm. an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> uh, also, Rowan Atkinson, who plays a priest. Um, we got Sally Hawkins as the mom. Uh, Matt Lucas as Prodnose. Matthew Bainton is Fickle Gruber. Uh, Olivia Coleman. Uh, she is the. I don't. Doesn't actually have her name listed, but uh, she's the uh, shop owner. The shop owner. Yeah, she's kind of an asshole. The the main like rude lady that owns the wash house. Yeah. Oh, what is her name? <laughs> it's on the shop too. Yeah, it's the name even, of the shop too. She owns uh, like a laundry shop. Yeah, whatever. it's like she's stinky a, butt or something. She's a know. bitch. And then <laughs> Calla Lane plays Noodle. She's a little girl. And then Keegan Michael Key, he plays the she chief of police. Uh, Tom Davis is the shop lady's like henchman dude, who's very big. And then Patterson Joseph plays Slugworth. And mm. I believe that's. I think that's about it. All right, well, Wonka was marketed as basically a origin story for the Willy Wonka that we know. I don't think it's tied into any of the actual universes or whatever of Wonka that we have already, but um, it kind of is just showing us how their their story of how Wonka came to be and how he ended up where he's at. So, uh, yeah, this should be an interesting episode because um, I... I'm pretty sure one of us had a wonderful time. <laughs> I love Wonka, Wonka dude. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna get into it. We'll let Connor. We'll give Connor his uh, aneurysm time. You know, let him. Uh, let yeah, him I don't know if my heart can take another it, stroke. But... You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, real quick, it's really free content. Uh, we'll, we'll just talk about Wonka real fast, and uh, I'll go first. Uh, I really enjoyed the movie. Uh, it was a really good feel good story. Uh, I have no issue with musicals, <laughs> uh, but I I enjoyed it. I actually thought Timothy Chalamet was was pretty good in it. And there's a few characters that are just uh, to me, but overall, I I really enjoyed. It. I had a I had a fun time, and I I um I'm actually gonna watch it again. T- uh, Tomorrow is Christmas for us, but um, I'm actually going to watch it again tomorrow with my family because I watched it by myself because they wanted to wait till Christmas. Yeah. So I ended up watching it by myself um, in order to do this podcast. So I'm going to end up watching it again, and I'm actually kind of excited for it. I'm actually looking forward to it. So uh, Taylor, we'll let Taylor go first because I'm sure Connor's fuming. <laughs> I'm good, man. I'm good. Yeah. Um, I like musicals. Uh, obviously, these movies involve music. Yeah. 
and songs and dance. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, I did. I do think that Timothy Chalamet did a good job. Um, in the beginning, it, it felt a little weird, but mm. once the movie starts hitting its stride, I thought it, it did really well. Mm. Um, a lot of the smaller characters, um, I thought they did pretty good, especially since we don't really get too much on them from uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Right. Uh, but it was funny. Um, w- there is a decent amount of references to the original Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, not the remake. Not the Johnny Depp one, yeah. right? the Gene Wilder one. Yeah, um, which is nice. The scary one. I like that they <laughs> kept it new, but just slightly familiar with yeah. a lot of the things. So overall, just, yeah, thought they did a pretty good job. Yeah. All right, Connor, uh, you get, we'll give you 90 seconds. Go. Wonka. <laughs> Is he a man? Is he an alien? We don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Fair, fair, so fair. if you've seen the trailer reaction we did for this movie, I was not at all looking forward to watching this movie in fact didn't want to Mm. um i don't hate this movie but i was extremely bored the entire movie (laughs) and uh did not like the songs i actually thought i i liked the original wonka songs way better than i liked these songs um and i don't like that movie so uh but i don't hate this movie but it's not for me it's okay. not good it, for okay. me. It's not as bad as I was expecting. I mean, it's going to get worse <laughs> when we start talking about stuff, but I, I, that's, you know, okay. that's my objectiveness. Right. Well, I'm staying um, objective while I still have my facilities about me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into some scores. Um, Taylor, what's your score for Wonka? Wonka, I'm going to give an eight. Eight? Okay. Uh, I'm going to give Wonka a nine. I really enjoyed it. I had a great time. Like I said, looking forward to watching it again tomorrow. Connor? Nice. I'm going to give Wonka a three. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> okay. I mean, hey, dude, that's your score. I got you. I I'm sorry. That. I just, I can't go higher than that. That's nope. just. I get it. I get it. You're you're entitled to your, your opinion. Yeah. I'll be it wrong, but I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All I mean, right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to dive into spoilers now. Uh, if you guys haven't seen this movie yet, I personally feel like this is the best movie for the holiday spirit right now. Like, if you're looking for a movie to go and enjoy with your family and just kind of hang out around the Christmas ho- um, holidays... I think it's. I think this is it. Uh, so, I I would recommend uh, instead if you want to have a fun Christmas time with your family, go watch Godzilla. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> yeah I I disagree, but <laughs> I've watched Godzilla. I uh, highly recommend you go watch Godzilla. I, I disagree with that one, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, that's just my two cents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I, <laughs> uh, God, you threw me off that one. <laughs> um, he's a fucking alien. I don't know. What? I mean, I guess so is... I don't so know, man. Wonka. He's weird, okay? Yeah. He's weird. Hey. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get into spoilers. So this is going to serve as your official. Spoiler alert. Okay. So what I will say real quick, right off the bat, I was not expecting so many songs. There were more than I was expecting. Cause God, too I don't, much. I don't remember there being that many songs in either of the two uh, previous ones. Uh, yeah, this, this should I be more like an album. I mean, <laughs> you probably can make a full EP from from the uh, songs on this, but I like I didn't expect it, but I wasn't upset about it. Like I enjoyed all of them. I don't think there's a single song that I didn't like. Like some of them were, you know, just meh, but none of them were like, "Oh, this sucks! I don't want to watch this." So, I I don't know. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed that aspect of it. Uh, Timothy Chalamet, I think, did really really well. Uh, I don't. I I think Johnny Depp is still my favorite, but I think that T- Timothy Chalamet did well. Do you, do you have an issue with Timi- Tim- Timothy Chalamet as Wonka? Uh, Timothy Chalamet himself. I don't have an issue with. 
Uh, Willy Wonka is some kind of weird supernatural alien <laughs> creature who murders people. Uh, he killed like I don't know, like at least three or four people in this movie. They just flew off into fucking where? They're gone. <laughs> they went in the transfer and they fucking died. Down. So I he just said saying. they're going to come back down. Yeah, they're they going to come only back last down. last a certain amount of time. It, yeah. yeah, yeah. He says they'll slowly make their way back down and they'll be har- they won't be harmed. Is what he says. We don't actually see that happen. <laughs> That's true. So That's they could just fall, free fall out of the yeah. air and That's splat true. into the ground. Is, you have no it idea. It is experimental chocolate. You know, it, it, it I'm just fair. saying, his chocolate flies around. It's weird, Okay. You're telling me that if they if they sold a tro- a piece of chocolate that if you ate it you started levitating you wouldn't eat that? Shit? No, absolutely not. You cannot dare you unless I see it with my own fucking eyes that you come down safely. I'm not eating that chocolate. I would. If I start ev- levitating and then all of a sudden the chocolate malfunctions and I fucking just <laughs> well, you just tie a roll from 200 feet in the air down. To the Why are you ground? going all the way to 200? Just tie a roll. I just, the guy, the two guys at the end were literally above a building <laughs> that was like at least 50 feet in the air. It, they, no, but I'm talking about. In real life, though, would you? Would you like? No, you can just tie a rope to yourself and just hold. No, like anchor yourself yeah, to. I a wouldn't rope. trust that either. No, nope. <laughs> I'm not happening. I'm not. Would I'm you, not, Taylor? I'm not, yeah, you try? I'm, not <laughs> eat, <laughs> no, I'm not eating any fucking weird chocolate that gives me fucking blue fucking face. <laughs> that one was weird. The blue hair. I, I'm not eating any <laughs> of that shit. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Let me, the, as far as that particular stuff goes, that was sabotage. Yeah, but that was that was not yeah. intention. I don't care. I don't like the flying either. I don't care. <laughs> All of them. Bad. No, uh, give them. me give me a chocolate that just tastes good, and that'll be fine. He he does that. Yeah, right? yeah. Well, I don't need a chocolate that uh, just I don't know turns me into a fucking hippopotamus. Goddamn that fucking <laughs> hippopotamus. <laughs> I'm just saying. Look, there's fucking weird stuff going on with this chocolate. Okay. I don't think hippopotamus fly. <clears throat> there's just there's just weird stuff going on with these chocolates that he's making, and uh, I don't I'm not I don't like it. I don't trust it. So that's where I stand on that. Okay. No, I mean that's that's fair. That's fair, I guess. Yeah. I, I'm trying it. I, I'm trying. I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen. If you were offered a child an experimental chocolate that can make you fly, would you yes try? It's it? not flight. You're just kind of floating. Well, you're hovering. Okay, it's called floating. hover. You're chalk. like a balloon. Le- levitate. You hover. Yeah, levitate or float. you're not flying around like Superman. Yeah, but all balloons, you just you just got to tie it down. You know, and they're just fine. Yeah, I'm just saying. We'll see what happens when someone unties you. <laughs> it's not going to be you. <laughs> Carter's just going to go around. How do you like it now? <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. I told you. I told you what was going to happen. I told you. Yeah, I'm the guy with the fucking tinfoil hat running around like that. He's got fucking satellites. In the- <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, um... Well, well, all right. So Connor, let, let's let's get no, 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 into... it's okay. You guys go. It's no, no, no. I mean, I, I, I honestly don't really have that much to say about the movie other than the fact that I enjoyed it. I thought it was a well put together story. Um, you know, there's a lot of convenient timing and stuff, but I, I was just looking for a good, fun, feel good movie, and it provided that. You know, like it provided that that. Um, that same magic that I got from watching the first two. And I know it's different for you, Connor, because you didn't have that magical experience with the first, no, the first two. No, no, no. <laughs> you were scared, and, <laughs> scared out of your mind, apparently. Uh, fucking awful. Yeah. Uh, dude, if I could, I would... Strike it from your memory. I would erase it from my memory and burn every copy of Wonka, <laughs> Willy Wonka that I fucking find, but... Yeah, so I I get I get that you're coming in with different expectations, but for me, I got that same magic that I got from watching Johnny Depp give away his chocolate and Gene Wilder too. I I I enjoyed it. What about you, Taylor? Did you did you feel that magic or did you? No. Yeah, I mean, it it felt uh really nice. Like it was like you know, like you said, it was a good feel good movie. Um, I mean, I overall, like, I'm just kind of impressed that they managed to make a good movie, mostly because mm. it's a origin story of a character from a movie that you wouldn't, I feel like most people wouldn't expect. Yeah. I mean, it's Wonka. It definitely like, was unexpected for sure. Because, I mean, obviously, like, Charlie and Chocolate Factory is like a classic, but generally, I don't see somebody going like, hey, can we get an origin story right. of Willy Wonka? Yeah. But, but I, they anybody, did it. I, I definitely did not ask yeah. for that. <laughs> I don't think anybody asked for it for sure. But but they did it, and I thought they did it pretty well. 
Yeah. And it, it definitely matches uh, at least what generally I think of when I, of as far as the originals go with the like whimsical stuff and the fun and the music and yeah. all the candies and stuff. And it makes me want candy every time I watch this, these kind yeah. of movies. It's never as good as I imagine it in my head when I'm watching these movies, but they make it sound so good. But I'm also not a huge chocolate guy, so. Um, I love and, chocolate, but I don't like hard chocolate. I love chocolate, so but not that. Not if not it flies. Not levitating chocolate. <laughs> if the chocolate flies, the hover, hover I'll chocolate. pass. Well, the chocolate doesn't fly. The, the chocolate was flying. The chocolate was the little chocolate balls. They were flying around people. That, is true. Going, that, is true. that, is true. that wasn't the that. chocolate itself. That was actually the bug. The bug yeah, I'm not about bugs Bug. and fucking chocolate either. <laughs> They're coming, ma. Even Who's if coming? everything that you might be eating is probably secretly made of all kinds of shit. You yeah, that's know. fine. I don't want I don't want the bug moving around. Okay, <laughs> I don't want the bug moving around. He said it fucking hatched inside the guy. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need yeah. that. Yeah. Um, Johnny Depp's still my favorite Wonka, though. But I do think that Timothy was a good choice as far as singing. Yeah, because he himself sings in this he's, movie. He's got a good voice, and and I actually. I feel like there's a way that you not that I'm saying that I would want them to connect at all, but it, like mm-hmm. I could, I could like, I could like um, stretch out the movie or stretch out his storyline and see how he would end up being like Johnny Depp's Willy Wonka. If that makes sense, you know what I, I mean? Don't know if yeah. that'd be giant because Johnny Depp doesn't really sing. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying, like, what I'm saying is, like, I could see how if you were to, like, perpetuate his his character, how he might end up being, end up like a Johnny Depp Oh, character. like a scary old hermit yeah. like, who kills children just, and... Yeah, yeah. He didn't kill didn't any kill children. Anybody. <laughs> they uh, that, they, they that, killed the, themselves. Look, that fucking okay? girl was eating her fingers at the end of the movie, well, okay? She ate herself. She's to death. Wait, what? Next... Yeah, what? dude, I have. What I showed my mom this scene about? too. There, if you the, the ending scene of fucking Johnny Depp's Willy Wonka, the girl that's covered in chocolate, or not the not the girl, sorry, the fucking dude, the boy, the, boy, the fat kid, yeah, who gets covered in chocolate, he chocolate eats right? his own fingers at the end of the fucking movie. He literally, he literally bites off his fucking fingers. Yeah, but he's a fat ass. Yeah, I mean, he literally was eating. That's the, dead. He did the it chocolate to bar whole. I'm just saying, the kids, <laughs> the kids eating himself to death. Because he's a fat that just fuck. Shows, that, just shows, <laughs> that just goes to show that kids are assholes. Well, that kid was an asshole. Most, most kids. Well, My kid, ones. you're awesome, buddy. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> Willy Wonka's responsible. He's a fucking he's a psychotic he menace. He might be. He might be. I mean, Gene Wilder's one is definitely Gene little, Wilder's he's one is crazy. spooky. <laughs> Like if you were they're based, both I mean, fucking crazy, they both do crazy you, shit to kids. If you based all of your stuff off of the Gene Wilder one, to kids. I would be more like, yeah, yeah kind of makes sense. But they're they're both equally fucking scary. Well, scary. That's that's just you. They're, but, they're both equally. <laughs> they're both equally uh, fucking criminals as they're well. Edgy. <laughs> they're definitely edgy for sure. I like Timothy Chalamet in there. Uh, it was really cool to see Keegan Michael Key uh, in like a full fledged role. You know. Because, like, we're used to him just being these, like, two or three minute skit characters that don't get, like, fleshed out all the way. So it's cool to see him in, like, a full-on role that uh, he, you know, he he did pretty well. Yeah, he was funny. <laughs> yeah, he was funny. Yeah, and... Kiki Michael Key is probably the only character that I liked in this movie. Really? Yep. He, he did a good job. Is that because he got fat? Yeah, I thought it was funny. <laughs> he did get obscenely fat. Yeah. It, Which, by the way, I don't think that's possible. No, no, not it that was, short it was overly yeah. comically. Like, like he got, absurd. he gained like three hundred pounds in like three days. Well, I mean, he weighed a total of like it had to be like eight hundred pounds by the time. He yeah, got. by the end when he couldn't even get out of the car. Yeah, he was probably like six hundred plus. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Keegan Michael Key, man. Yeah, he he did a good job. He did. I, I enjoyed him. I enjoyed him as as that character. I enjoyed. I actually enjoyed the three. Uh, what are the names of the three? Chocolate Nose, Slugworth, and Fickle Grubber. Yeah, I actually enjoyed those those guys as well. And I know they were meant to be overly like evil genius kind of as uh as people, but I don't know. I enjoyed I enjoyed their characters, and I I had fun with that. 
Do you guys see um, any potential to like for more? No. Within this? Well, I know you don't. <laughs> <laughs> but Taylor, do you no, think that they're going to try and like build upon this or Please God, is, this a, is this a one and done? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't personally see anything, but I wouldn't be surprised just because that's everybody just wants to franchise everything. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised either, especially because I think it did pretty well. I mean, the the Rotten Tomato score, I think, is in the low 90s for the audience mm-hmm. score for the critic score. I think it's like uh, I think it's like low 80s, but I, I think it did well. I think um, it was like 84 when I was looking at the cast. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, I could see it. I don't I, think it really needs it. I, I don't think it needs it either. I actually think this is kind of one of those stories that you should just leave the way it is because we know the end result. We now know the beginning. I don't need. I don't need you to try and fill in the middle. Yeah, I don't need to ever watch Willy Wonka ever again. <laughs> <laughs> that's really not something that I need to do. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I get it. I get you, brother. Um, one thing I did, I did have like a slight issue with throughout the movie was telling what parts were real and what parts were like imagination, you know, or like not real, I guess. Um, cause there's definitely some parts that like things are being built or made and it's like, I don't know if this is really happening or if this is just like, I'm telling you, dude, imagination. <laughs> is he actually human? I don't know. He might not be. I, I mean, I don't think so. <laughs> okay that's that's just I, look i'm not saying anything but i'm saying something you know what i mean he's not saying aliens yeah but, aliens. but, it, but it you know yeah well um i don't know I, I i don't really have much more to say i think this is a pretty solid christmas movie to go and watch with your family um yeah I don't know. I'm going to watch it again tomorrow. We'll see how I feel. I don't know if it's going to change or if it's going to if it's going to be not as good. Maybe it'll come out of the screen and shove a bunch of ch- chocolate in your mouth and then you'll fly around and explode. One thing I from do kind of miss cool with that disgusting is like bug the actual chocolate. Willy Wonka candy brand. Mm, that, like in like, real life. Yeah, in real life. Well, yeah, they yeah. had that for Well, a, it was what, Nestle, right? I think it was yeah, the Nestle when the, when Wonka the, bar. Uh, when the other one came out, what was it? The the what was the last one? Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, dude, I'm fucking. <laughs> yeah, right. Buddy? Yeah, crack open that that uh. Yeah, monster. uh, Willy Wonka and the and the Chocolate Factory with uh Charlie and Johnny. the Chocolate Factory. Char- William- oh, Charlie, yeah, <laughs> yeah Charlie. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. The Johnny Depp one. Liam Johnny Depp. <laughs> you know, Liam 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 <laughs> with Johnny Depp. Not even remotely. <laughs> Not Johnny even Depp. Close. They definitely, they definitely had a, a bunch of like Wonka bars that came out. Yeah, no, I think Nestle. Because I, because I remember my mom got me one of those, and I was like, "Don't give me this." Don't <laughs> <laughs> like, the ticket. Don't, don't, don't ever yeah. give me. I a mean, Wonka I don't bar. specifically mean the chocolate bars; those did exist. Yeah, yeah. Um, those were. You just want like magical like chocolate? Generic, Are you asking about like magical um, chocolate candy? No, there's actually a lot of candy that you may not realize is actually still exist. It's just they don't, they aren't uh, branded the same way. Yeah. Like what, what do you Nerds. Mean? Nerds oh, is a Willy Wonka candy, but it is no longer called. Oh, really? Uh, like under the brand of Willy Wonka, because that's one of the few that has remained throughout the years that people will constantly buy. Yeah. The chocolate bars were a the Wonka bar. There's like novelty purple, right? thing where it looked like the ch- chocolate bars in the movie, but there's just generic <laughs> chocolate. Yeah. And like initially, I don't really remember, but the, when they first came out, they were good. Then the company got so, or the brand got sold to another company, and then they were bad. I think and that's when people stopped buying them. Um, but uh, the, the, like I, I also miss like Gobstoppers were super mm, good. That was another one of yeah. them, and just like any other random like fruity stuff that they had, I usually enjoyed. Yeah, um, Not the it looks itself, like though. you can get Wonka bars at Target right now. Oh, yeah, I remember these. Yeah, they were they were manufactured by uh, yeah, Nestle. Yeah, they look like the ones from the movie. Or the one he got from the movie or whatever. It's like Wonka. And then you open it and it's like, oh, you got the golden ticket. Yeah. 
and then the fucking chocolate eats you. Bro, but like, <laughs> would you really want a chocolate factory though? You know, like, you got a golden ticket and you went for the tour and then he's like, oh, you made it to the end of the tour. I mean, Here's yeah. a chocolate factory. I'll take it. It's I'd be money. like, ah. <laughs> it's literally free real estate. It's free real estate. <laughs> yeah, I guess I would take it and then be like, let's just sell the like, yeah, let's, just, let's just let's just sell it. I, mean, I would take it. That's what happened. Just with, break uh, everything you guys down. Ever watch the Mr. Beast? Oh episodes? yeah, he did that. He gave away a fucking job yeah, factory. Yeah. And the person and just, sold, just it. sold it right after. Yeah, yep. it's like I have no use for it. Yeah, I would have demolished dude, Mr. it. Beast is and crazy, sold dude. the land. That, or that rented guy, out the awesome. land. Dude, his his ability to just make things happen is insane. Yeah. Like it's 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 literally crazy. Yeah, it, it is. He really cool guy, but his smile, like constantly <laughs> smiling, does kind of freak me out. I'm not gonna lie. He's, Connor, I think I think you're just getting freaked out. Dude, he's by, constantly by smiling. People, it's it's fucking unsettling. Okay, look, I like you, but I, it's just a little. I'm like, look, if you look, he looks like this all the time. Good he's time like, and you enjoy your life. Connor doesn't like you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. I, look, I, I think you're great. I think I, he does a lot of good stuff, and I think it's awesome. I'm just saying, makes me a little uncomfortable. I'm like, Ugh. yeah, it sounds like exactly like Willy Wonka. <laughs> like I can't, I can't watch his like face for an extended period of time. I have to like, yeah. I have to be like, okay, well, <laughs> we'll look at something else. Yeah, I, I'm gonna hope that he's not smiling currently at me, and then I'll look back and maybe, maybe it won't be. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys see that? Um, that the Squid Game reality show on yeah. Netflix? Yeah, I don't know why they made that. Mr. Well, Beast, what do you mean you don't know why they made that? It's fucking money, bro. Well, Mr. Beast made that on his channel. Well, his he, is better. He in my made opinion. It. His his things were better. Like he he made like he recreated the, like the yeah he does a good job at like activities. making actual stuff. Yeah, but theirs was like the full yeah. thing. Kind of. There's it was a, obviously there's, it's a little. It was rough to watch. There's. Yeah. I thought it was funny because people are just so it's, toxic. Well, dude. yeah, <laughs> it, yeah. It's it's like it's like watching a uh, train wreck, right? Like you can't like. Yeah, and then they execute him. It's like, oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was yeah. calm down a little bit. They shoot him in the face. Right? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. They don't do that in that one. No, I did rewatch like the first couple episodes of the the original Squid Game, and I forgot how good it is. Yeah, it's great. Good. It's a great show. I can't watch that one. You haven't seen it? No, I can't. I, I don't know. It's super it's, good. I know, but it's just too. I don't know. What? How do you know if you haven't seen it? It's just too real. I don't know. Like, I don't How is it too real? real? What? Like, I, like, if I watch it, it's the same reason why I can't watch, like, I can't watch true crime shit or, like, this is this, that's no, nothing no, no. to do that's with nothing. That. That's like know, telling me you can't watch Saw and idea. I know that you've seen Saw. I, I know, but it's the same idea as, like, I know that there's got to be some fucking country out there where there is a fucking game show that's like. You can say that about like every, every movie ever. Place. <laughs> I'm just saying. Ever. I'm just saying. It's I. There, it. It's got to exist in real life. There's. You know. Oh, what I, mean? I have. I have no doubt. You've also somebody watched came up with another movie, for, which for I will that. not name here, that is about something very real everywhere in the fucking world, even here. Right. And you still watched it. Yeah, well, I I had to for the thing, but I did, I said on the episode when we did that, I it was very uncomfortable, and I didn't really want to watch what it because it was that? too. I'm lost. I'm not saying the name. Yeah. Oh. We don't want to. Was I? Uh, did I watch the movie? No. You or is that the other show? No. Oh. But that kind of stuff scares me. Like, mm. actually scares me. So I don't really. I don't. I kind of stay away from it because it's like I like. I'm gonna have nightmares about that shit for fucking. Interesting. Like I had a, I had nightmares about that shit for like a fucking month after we watched that movie. Really? Yeah, it was fucking awful. <sighs> I am, I am. That's interesting to me. Like if I watch any sort of true crime thing, like I watched this fucking thing on Netflix. The what's the I uh, the documentary about the fucking clown guy. Oh, Ted and, Bu- not Ted Bundy. No, um, John uh, Wayne Gacy. Yeah. John oh Wayne man, Gacy. I had fucking nightmares about that for like at well, least. Three I mean, that's like. A documentary of a real life thing. That <laughs> yes, so yeah, well, I, I get that. I understand. I, that's, that's, I have. I. I don't watch that. Like, but, like, I, watch I can the, watch like the scariest fucking movie or whatever. Yeah. But like, that's not going to get no, nightmares. I get what you're saying though, because that's why I didn't watch the Jeffrey Dahmer thing. That yeah, watched. I didn't watch the Jeffrey Dahmer thing. I think that one, like to me, is that you're taking it's, that too far. It, it's too real. Like it, it just feels too real, and it like it, it'll give me that. Like I won't be able to fucking sleep for like yeah. weeks. 
Every person that looks like him, I'm just gonna punch in the face. It's still just weird to me because Squid Game is definitely not. Yeah, I, I see. It's I, literally I know like it's telling not me real, Saw but is it's, real. No, no, no. <laughs> it's like what I like for me. I totally understand what you're saying because that's exa- the exact reason why I didn't watch the Jeffrey Dahmer thing, and why like Chris and I still listen to all these true crime podcasts and stuff, and I can't do it. But like Squid Game isn't that. Squid yeah, Game is just the, drama. The, well, even it's like, a K drama. Even like true crime things. Yeah, but like it, like Jeffrey Dahmer was. A, it's a little different. Well, they dramatized it. They it was a little, but it's just I don't know. I don't like. I, I mean, it's played by the guy from yeah. who played. You He's know, a great actor. And, and actually, he did a yeah. he did a really good job. Yeah, I know it's he played did by really Quicksilver, but like I don't like I still don't like yeah. even though it's fake like a not it's a fucking movie kind of thing you know I I still can't. Right. I, still can't no, watch I, it. I get you. But I, I think you should. And like just the performances from the people who are in Squid Game, you know, they're really good. So I, I can't. It just feels too hmm. like I, I it feels too. Kind hey, of real. So you've only just seen the trailer, or yeah, I've seen the trailer and some of the first episode because Haley was watching it. But uh-huh. then I was like, I, hmm. I can't. Because to me, it just seems like a regular K drama. <laughs> like it's just very K drama. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty normal Korean. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Korean people make f- things feel weird. So, you know, I mean, not yeah. weird, but like real. So I'm like, I don't. Know. I yeah. don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know. Some of the some of the Korean dramas that uh, my mom watches, I'm like, oh man, that's that's rough. I can't watch that. You know I mean? <laughs> it's like it's so interesting. It's so usually over the top drama. For yeah. Me. So, Which some is of them not are pretty realistic to me. Yeah. Some of them are. Some of them are like that, but. I don't know. All it's right. just it depends on how real it feels. You know what I mean? Like that's so interesting because you're like you like immersion and you like the you like things being and feeling real. Yeah. But when it comes to certain subjects, the if it feels too real, then it it's too much. When it comes to like existential subjects, where it's like that that's where i think it it's just that's just too much for me because i'm like i can't i can't go through life yeah i'm not gonna be able to function you know what i mean no i mean i I get it like i'm that's just what i'm it's just interesting i'm gonna be thinking about that for like fucking forever yeah like constantly and then it like like you would watch the squid game and then you would like think to yourself well if i was presented with this opportunity would i do it I'd just be like, man, what if it was like me and Haley, and then like I had to go against her, and then she get fucking shot in the head? Like, uh, I, I can't do that. Like, that's fucking. Like you have to play marbles against her. Yeah, like I. I don't think he knows what that means, but uh, no. Like, that, yeah. was, that was my favorite part of the reality one, though, was when they did the marble part. Did you you did you watch who, did you watch the whole the thing? No, I didn't watch the last uh, episode. Well, I don't, I don't think it was in the last episode. I think it was a couple episodes before, but it was in there. Like, oh, everybody choose a partner, have a picnic. And then in the bottom of the picnic basket, they found the marbles. Yeah. And everybody was just like, oh, fuck. Yeah, that was my favorite part because I was just like, hi, bitches. <laughs> Suckers. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I just couldn't do, like, anything like that. Like, you know what I mean? Against, like, someone that I love would be like, oh, just shoot me. Like, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, Nobody, <laughs> I mean nobody's it. asking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. I get you, brother. Yeah. All right. Well, let's circle back to the topic of this. <laughs> My bad. I sent us off on that tangent. My bad. Uh, but Wonka. Um, yeah. That's, I don't know. I, mean, I, I, th- I, th- I think we finished. <laughs> yeah. We were actually that's, just that's rambling. Wonka, after the... go watch it in the theaters unless you like Connor and or are don't. terrified by Willy Wonka. Yeah. Or <laughs> or if you just don't want to, you know, that's okay. Uh, it I, is okay. I think it's worth. I think it's worth watching. I stand with you. I stand alone. <laughs> <laughs> but if you don't want to, that's fine too. I guess. I don't know. You're all free people. Do whatever the fuck you want. But if you guys could hit that subscribe button, that'd be awesome. That one, you don't have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> that one, I need you. That to one, do you're something. not free. Click, 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 click. I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, you're calling. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we got some more episodes coming out very soon. Uh, trying to, like I said, trying to catch back up with what's coming out currently. Uh, we'll get that stuff out to you. Pit or keep an eye out for those. We appreciate you guys. We appreciate all the love and support. Uh, yeah, we're 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 gonna we're gonna get back into this. We're gonna get rolling. Thank you guys. We love you. Please like, subscribe, comment, share with a friend. Check out our social media as well as the other shows here on the channel. And we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye guys. Bye bye.